Flying Swans, Calm Water and Silence, but it won't take long. In a moment, Dax Hunt starts here, and with it, another episode of Eurohunter's program. October is the perfect time to hunt for a duck. We're hunting together in the northwest of Poland near the village called Resko. Welcome to the next episode of Eurohunters program. Wing hunting, as we call it in Poland, actually is duck hunting. It starts collective hunting season here. In this beautiful country, almost everywhere we can find some reeds, small ponds, or an oxbow lake. Or maybe just bigger puddles where wild ducks like to live. Such an ideal hunting ground is located in the hunting association Knieja Resko near Szczecin, in the northwest part of Poland. We couldn't refuse when friends invited us to a collective duck hunt. After saying hello and a short briefing, we went to the place. There, we went quickly to our position, watching the ducks fly away calmly from a pond to a safer distance. Relax. Let's wait a little bit. I'm sure there are still a few of them and we'll come out, maybe straight at Mr. Reporter. Of course they flew and Przemek had a chance to shoot, but no effect. The shooter's facial expression speaks for itself. Why won't they fall? Jarek, who seems even less confident, is only watching the departing ducks, while Przemek loads again and again and shoots and... misses. We're hunting in a beautiful area, full of wild birds, including our favorite ducks. But from the very beginning, we made a small mistake. During taking our positions, we were too noisy and made most of the birds flee. When we arrive at such a hunt, we really need to slowly approach the reeds without making any noise, because these ducks are skittish. And a hunt ends up with the fact that we either don't shoot anything or need to move more. Relax, calm down. First we settle, then we hunt. It's the end, come. It's the end of shooting. Now dogs move into action. Without them, such a hunt can't take place. It's a law in Poland that we must have our four-legged friends that will not only drive, but also collect all the birds from water and reeds. What a great fun it is for them, you can see for yourself. Passion, fun and work. What a fantastic mix. Once the ducks scattered to smaller ponds in the area, you need to put more effort to hit them. Fortunately, it's only the beginning of the day and the hunt. When we start duck hunting, it is important to cover the area properly. In this case, we're hunting in a few ponds at the same time. It is a few hectares and we should deploy hunters so that all levees are covered. When we come to the position, you need to keep very quiet. It's sometimes even good to hide in the reeds before starting shooting. All the time something's going on, so, uh, sorry? Nah, it's just swans. All the time something's going on, so, uh, uh sorry? No, it's just swans. Uh, 
warto przycupnąć gdzieś przy czcince, zdjąć kolorowe czapki, kolorowe oznaczenia. It's worth hiding somewhere in the reeds. Put on an orange hat and marking before the start of the hunt, so that the ducks don't notice our movement. Everything is important here. Quietly, calmly, do not shoot right away. Wait until everyone takes their position. Because if we flush the ducks out, they will go towards a colleague. And if he's not ready, he won't shoot. And hunting doesn't make sense. Hunting is a pleasure, meeting with friends. So let us make sure that everybody has got equal opportunities. These equal opportunities are not such a simple matter. Because we can influence some things, but some we can't. As usual, a lot depends on luck and the area where we hunt. Here, there are so many ducks. Even if you flush some out, another flock bursts into air a minute later. This area is ideal for ducks. A bit of exposed area with water and a lot of bushes where they can hide from predators and raise their young. Meanwhile, the hunt is in a full swing. Ducks are flying over our heads. Przemek and Jarek shoot and can't believe their eyes. Ducks unharmed fly away to safety. The hunt's really great. Emotions are high, but I can't say a word. I just fired six times and nothing. There are the birds, the weather's great, so is the hunt. Only the shooter's lame. That means me. Fortunately, we are in a place where you will have a chance to hunt a bird for dinner more than once. Dozens of hectares of water surface divided by levees and fields. Ideal for birds, but also for other animals, wild boar, deer and predators. We've approached another pond quietly. The atmosphere is getting really hot. But it gets too hot, so we need to take off some clothes to make it more comfortable to shoot. And now, with more free movement, I hope to shoot something finally. A colleague at the side signals to begin the drive. So let us begin. The first shooting in this drive is behind us. We saw a hit dark came down behind us. I shot twice, but at that point the duck made a turn. It is very important when shooting not to shoot those flying too high. You need to clearly see the webbed feet to be sure the shot is effective. Another important thing is to adjust the shot to the speed of a flying duck. Unfortunately, it often happens that the moment you pull the trigger the duck turns. This drive turned out to be pretty good and the next few hunters were able to knock down some ducks. The dogs manifested their most satisfaction with this fact, as with their fantastic work they confirmed the sense of participation in such hunts. It's time for a break, a bit of rest during the hunt is the moment everybody has been waiting for. Signaler played meal, so there's nothing else to do but to catch a fish. We usually eat venison during hunting, but this time at the duck hunt we're having smoked carp. 
and it's all thanks to our hosts. Everyone rushed to take some of this unusual snack, which only confirms what delicacy it is. We've had enough, so it's time to think about the next drive. Przemek and Jarek went to get more ammunition. Now it's also time for a completely new side. A group follows the leader, who sets the position on the side of the field. Hunters can already visualize falling ducks, but before that happens... A new sport, new opportunities. Now we cover some typical reeds in a small water body. Ducks will probably hide in these reeds. There may also be other games, such as geese. There's a field nearby, so should the geese appear, we'll be able to shoot them. Today we've met several enthusiasts who consider hunting as a kind of gentleman's club meeting, where most important are principles, culture, integration with fellow hunters, an excellent atmosphere. And all the rest is just of least importance, although I must admit, it's quite nice. And this is my time. The litter's beautiful, a magnificent area. I'll certainly shoot more than Przemek. Jarek is very motivated just to hit something for a broth soup. The drive has started. Przemek also doesn't intend to give up. He fights, he shoots and he sees ducks fall, but not from his shots. Until the next shot, finally, a beautiful drake fell to the ground, hit by a firm shot. My first trophy of the day. It turned out I shoot ahead at about half a meter to a meter and a half, while the others here even two meters. Well, the best part is I won't come home empty-handed. And so in the end, Mr. Reporter managed to shoot a beautiful drake. And what about Janek? Two raised fingers mean peace or two trophies? We don't know yet. Instead, we know that some colleagues strongly reduced the flock of ducks, as they managed to shoot four ducks. It seems like everybody was successful today. And in this way, we got to the end of the hunt. We still have a display. I've got a beautiful drake. And you, Jarek? I have a drake and a half. I see Jarek shot a teal and a drake. To shoot a teal is a real feat, as it's a rocket in the air. Congratulations, you've won our competition. But I must add one pack of ammunition, one duck. Have you used two packs? Almost. Well, in the last drive I had four bullets left and fired 12 or 14 times. But I've got a drake and that's most important. It was also great fun, great atmosphere, great people we've met. We go now to the display to see how many ducks we've got in total. We're approaching the final. As you can see, we have quite impressive display of bag. Acquiring several dozen ducks by several hunters is a very good result. After such a meeting, no one ever returns home empty-handed. The birds are shared among all participants. And if anyone wants, they will surely find a delicious duck for a Sunday roast. Unfortunately, the hunt's ending, and so is our program. We'll see you next week. <laughs>